I have recently coined a term anti-value with great trepidation because coining terms is very dangerous business. But I do think that in unusual cases, you can form what I'm calling an anti-value where you take a threat and you basically turn that threat into a bogeyman that you are terrified of. And it acts sort of like a value, like a values create all the different emotions in order to gain and keep that value and avoid threats. An anti-value creates tremendous aversion to getting anywhere near the thing that you think is so bad. And so it would be like a um, magnet with the opposite pole, basically blocking off, uh, basically preventing you from getting any access to some area of your knowledge. And I think that that is the motivational thing behind evasion. I think once it becomes an anti-value, it is by definition irrational, meaning that it's, when you turn it into a bogeyman, something that cannot be tolerated, that's not true. The only thing that you can't tolerate is death. And even death is, you know, a fact of life that we need to accept. So it's the, it has been magnified by avoidance and by uh, wrong, wrong conclusions and avoidance in particular. If you consistently avoid something, it becomes a bigger and bigger bogeyman that you're more and more afraid of. And this is why we've all had the experience of some task that we were absolutely dreading and when you actually sat down to do it and you take one step and it's like, it's easy. It's like your fear of what it was going to be is so overblown compared to what the actual task is. That was created by means of avoidance. So just as a value becomes stronger, when you act again and keep a value, it becomes stronger and stronger. If you have something formed as an anti-value, every time you avoid it, that makes that stronger. It makes it feel scarier and more awful.